Hi guys, yeah, it's me again. I'm uh, in the woods. Getting uh, some exercise and some peace of mind and yeah, just uh, doing my thing. I uh, was saying in an earlier video that uh, um, okay, this is the way I see it. After all my trips to Montreal and and all my uh, escapades to uh, Ottawa, you know, I can smell a rat in the woodpile, and uh, I've always questioned this whole thing. Uh, this, I say, about 95% of this freedom uh, movement here in Canada is totally controlled. There's a few, uh, and a lot of people think that they're not, but they're, they are from a, a top-down perspective, and uh, they don't see that. And um, you know, I could, I could tell because I, I, I said a, way back in the beginning, I was there at Queens Park on day one, and a whole bunch of people walking around saying they were at Queens Park on day one. We're not there at Queen's Park on day one. That's another thing that's getting me going. And um, I suggested a few times to let me do a speech. And they never had time for me, right? So was, I was always doing all the filming. And uh, you know, like I said, eight trips to Montreal, six trips to Ottawa, never touched the mic. And uh, all I seen was actually desperation fighting for mic time over and over and over again. And it, uh, was disheartening to be honest, you know, uh, very godless, right? And, and I'm not talking about, you know, um, I'm talking creator God here. I don't want to go into anybody's particular uh, religious dogma, right? I don't do uh, religion, right? Um, but uh, I did a lot of pure public speaking my day, like lots of it. I spoke at uh, 11 high schools in two years about my life, drugs and addiction and all that kind of stuff and how I managed to pick myself up after being bashed around by this thing called life too much. Broken thighs, broken pelvis, broken shin, you know, uh, I've had to learn how to walk basically five times since I got crapped out into this world. And uh, last time was in a coma for almost, well it was five weeks and then some. And then uh, it even took me, like when I came out of the coma, it wasn't like, oh, I'm back here. It was kind of like, I was kind of like still half dreamy at that point. And uh, that took another year to basically rec recuperate. And uh, so I spoke at uh, all these high schools and I spoke for doctor's offices and I spoke at the University of Toronto and I spoke at George Brown College and uh, Humber College. Humber College actually did a project on me. Uh, it was like a five week project. They were coming to my house uh, once or twice a week and filming me and asking me questions. And it was like a documentary, but anyway, that's another thing. So. Uh, yeah, so when it comes down to uh, speaking engagements and stuff like that, and I, uh, I try to approach the uh, so-called freedom movement here in Canada with uh, a little bit of mic time for myself. And uh, each time I was denied. And uh, to a point where I didn't even bother trying anymore. It just got, became so obvious to me, right? And so uh, I'm down at uh, Queen's Park and uh, I guess uh, I've been collecting flags for a couple of years now, if you haven't noticed. And, uh, you know, I was taking them down to the uh, Save the Children at uh, Laura Simcoe in uh, Queen, Queen's Key uh, every Wednesday there. That was the uh, No Jab for Kids uh, weekly rally. And I was taking a bunch of flags down there. And then uh, when it came around worldwide rallies, I was taking down up to 80 flags from around the world and then some uh, and setting them all up and I the last worldwide rally I got up at 6 o'clock in the morning I made sure I was down to Queens Park by 8 30 in the morning so I could set up all the flags properly only to have these asshole politicians and these grifters speaking and I just couldn't believe it and then when I cracked to the uh, the leader of the leaderless movement because we even had business cards made up 
Okay, I might have one on me. Hey, I cracked him. I say, hey, we we got the leaderless protest going on here, man. See that? I got other cards too. All right? We made business cards up because we did. We were tired about these groups coming down there and trying to take over the park. So we finally got rid of them, only to f have this a new event planner bullshit come into the game. And so when I says to him, uh, what's the deal here? Uh, he basically told me to fuck off and that he doesn't promote me. And I said, oh really? Thanks dude. All that work I do, and you're not even going to promote me? Yet you have all these retarded fucking people coming down there trying to make themselves a little fucking selfie fucking famous gig. It's retarded. Anyway, so I've been going down there recently and I was at Queens Park or uh, Nathan Phillips Square on the weekend. Went there to meet Fernando and uh, I ended up doing some filming and it was trippy because the one up on the bus or the one up on the pickup truck was saying, oh, so-and-so is here, he's right up there on the bus and so-and-so wasn't even there the whole day and I said, what's this shit? Anyway, I'm not going to get any specific. I think you probably know who the hell I'm talking about. The whole game's a rigged fuck up, man. If you can't get with it, so be it. You know, you better get some books and start learning where the hell you are. You know? Start figuring out what the name of the game here is because it's a much bigger than what you could even imagine. And oh, yeah. You know what? We could end all this shit right now if you got rid of all your damn cell phones and your bullshit tech. Right? Yeah. I. I own no nothing, man. I have not a six cell phone in my six year now. I have very limited tech at home. I got a water distiller because I ain't drinking recycled shit. I don't go to fucking doctors. I don't take no pharmaceutical bullshit. I smoke a couple joints of weed and my smokes. Because I got to deal with all this crazy shit. And I've been doing that for, oh geez, I don't know, 60 years? Well, 50. I started smoking cigarettes when I was nine years old got a seven year older, my older brother's seven years older than me, so all my pals ended up being squirrels. Basically uh, half a decade older than me when I was growing up. Anyway, yeah, 40 years ago I was saying the Nazis did not lose World War II, Germany did, but nobody wanted to hear it. 30 years ago I was talking about the planes over my head, nobody wanted to hear it. And today, nobody wants to hear me, so you know what? I do my best of what I can, and I try and do it in a God-loving way. I don't believe in a God that's going to hurt me or condemn me. How the hell can anybody condemn anybody for the bullshit they put in this fucking life down here and expect them to be perfect? Especially when you didn't get the owner's manual when you got here. Your parents didn't get the owner's manual. In fact, they liked to kill your parents when you were young, by the way. My mother's been gone since I was 10 years old. Anyway guys, I just don't deal with bullshit and I'm just getting so sick and tired of all this freedom rally bullshit and all this freedom fighter bullshit. When nothing's being done, all these groups are controlled. On guard for thee. Go ahead. Why haven't we got one fucking arrest, huh? Oh, let's get Christopher James. He's got over a thousand retired military and all these fucking cops ready to go. Bullshit. It's all controlled. You fucking don't get it. Okay guys, I'm getting pissed off. I don't like swearing, but this is the way it's going. We're getting grifted hard, and we're at war. If you can't see it, World War III has already begun, and it's on us, mankind. Get it? Or are you going to be a digital fucking robot? 